Uh, who are you and what did you bring to the SOLIDWORKS 3D experience? Hi, I'm Quentin Bolse. I'm a postdoc researcher at the MIT Center for Bits and Atoms. And here we're showcasing our modular machine system that lets you prototype machines really quickly. So, so what do you mean by it lets you prototype machines very quickly? Tell me a little bit about it. So, the, I mean, I can explain what, what this machine is for, like what the background is about this machine. I think it's going to illustrate it. Um, the MIT Museum asked us to build a drawing machine for an event that they had, and we only had two weeks to, you know, build it. So we used the system that we're working on at my lab to, you know, put it together really quickly. And so what you get with the system is a set of stepper motors that you know they, each of them comes with its own electronics and together they form a network so it's trivial to add a new one because you know it's just one more node in the network and then the whole system is controlled by a computer that tells the motors to move at that speed to that position so there's no single monolithic motherboard that you need to like you know write code for it's all the computer oh that's interesting yeah. okay Okay, so it's a modular system. I'm, I'm trying to understand it. Yeah. It's a modular system where each electronic component, like the servos, yeah. has a controller actually attached to Absolutely. it. So if they all communicate with each other and, and, and it's not like a typical machine, how do you tell it what to do? Okay, that's a great question. So um, our vision is that you know prototyping machines shouldn't be painful. So you shouldn't have to write low level firmware for the motherboard of a machine you instead of that um, you can write code in a high level programming language in this case we use Python but it could be you know JavaScript it could be anything you want and this application just you know communicates with the, the network and tells each motor to to move to a given position at a given speed that's all it is and so in this case we made a drawing machine that you know makes little drawings in two dimensions so the application, it was really convenient to be able to do it from a Python script because, you know, I have a camera, I take the picture, I process it, I get a bunch of lines, and then immediately I can move the motors, you know, along those coordinates. It's as simple as that. Perfect. Wonderful. So, um, the components in the kit, you have the electronic aspect. Are the, are the mechanical pieces that I see here part of the kit as well? It is part of the kit, yeah. So... Um, everything is open source and the idea is um, if you want to put the machine together you can 3d print the parts to build one axis and so this machine is just three axes stacked onto each okay other, okay you get a, a 2d motion platform so here at this event you have the machine that takes your picture yeah. and it draws your your face what other kinds of machines can you build with this kit it's not just to build this machine right it's a yeah. it's a toolkit to build whatever what other things have you seen people try um, the system is super young, yeah. <laughs> but you know the sky is the limit. Um, you could put any sort of end effect. Or at my lab specifically, we've used this system to um, prototype cutting machines. So you have a blade. Yeah. Okay. Like a cutting plotter. Yeah. Exactly. My colleague Jake um, is busy with multi-tool machines. Mm -hmm. So you know, instead of a single end effect, you get. Um, a tool changer and the uh, machine can oh. pick up different tools so okay one cool example was an origami machine that was picking up a pen to draw the four lines you know for the origami and then it and goes then it and pick it. up the knife to to cut the outline of the origami oh. okay technically that's a kirigami ah i see yeah. okay Interesting, Kirigami. Okay, um, all right. So somebody's watching this. They've they're learning that you have this system out there that's open source. Where can they learn more about this? Yeah. So I think the most interesting part of the system is the controllers for the steppers, and you can find that by googling modular things. On um, you'll see a GitHub page. Okay. With you know all the circuits um, and how to and explain on how to. Get started. Okay, Be so you've got a GitHub page for all the explainer on how to do the yeah. modular yeah. electronics. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll try to get that in a link down in the description of the video. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to Thank me you. and telling me about this. It's an awesome project, and we'll see you later. Thank you so much.